we're going to cover some maintenance points on an S700 combine. Um, we'll start at the feeder house. The feeder house chain is rides on a floating frame that's got spring tensioners on each side. Uh, the tensioner is adjusted with this nut and you have an eye bolt that sits in between these hash marks that act as uh, gauges. When the eye bolt gets to the front, that tells you you need to either uh, take a half link out or if there's no half links left, then your chain is out of adjustment and needs to be replaced. Um, it's also important to make sure you maintain the proper tension on the feeder house uh, drive chain, on this roller chain. Uh, you want it not quite this tight, but just enough so it's going to run off that slat a little bit. Um, we can move back to the elevators. <clears throat> elevator chains. Uh, the correct tension for an elevator chain is that you want to be able to slide the sprocket or the chain across the sprocket but not pull the chain off the bottom of the sprocket. Uh, it's important to maintain that uh, tension on the chain on both elevators so you don't get the chain hammering back and forth inside the elevator uh, damaging anything. Um, the wreath thrasher has an adjustable door that can get crop and chaff built up behind it and if it packs in there tight enough you won't be able to adjust the, your wheat to corn setting so you need to be able you need to go in there and clean that debris out so the door remains movable um, we can walk back and talk a bit about the chopper <coughs> So here we have a chopper hammer. You have a hard surfacing on the front. Uh, if you start losing the hard surfacing, it's not the end of the world. But if you start wearing that chopper hammer so it starts drawing back or drawing back against the rear part of the blade, uh, you need to replace it before it gets to that point. And you need to replace it especially before it starts losing height out of that chopper blade. Uh, the stationary knives in the chopper are just a blade with a sharp edge on both sides. Uh, once uh, it's dull on one side, you flip it over, use that side. When that's used up, you replace the, the stationary knives. Also make sure that your tailboard fins are in decent shape, that they're not all bent up. That way you get the even uh, spread of the straw behind the machine. Uh, if we move back to the chopper drive, <clears throat> we have a two-speed chopper drive gear case. It's got a high and a low and a neutral. Uh, it is a pre-filled gear case with a specified amount of grease. Uh, it does not require service. Um, I get questions asking if this needs to be greased every once in a while. It does not. The only reason that you need to grease it is if you take it apart for service, if, some, if you have a failure. Um, the rotor drive sheaves. <clears throat> On the rotor drive sheave, where the grease circ is, you have a grease circ and a hex plug or a pipe plug. Uh, every 400 hours, the pipe plug, pipe plug needs to be taken out. You install a zerk, close the sheaves, and then you grease uh, 40 to 45 shots into that zerk and then put the plug back in. Uh, after you do that, you run the sheaves open and closed to disperse the grease through there. Um, that's an item that has been in the book for a while, but sometimes it gets overlooked and people aren't aware of it. Um, this pocket where the shaker arm runs, uh, there should be a shield on top, but we've got it taken off. This is an area that collects a lot of debris also, and the pocket inside there can collect so tight with debris that the shaker arm has nowhere to go, and you can end up with a broken shaker arm. Uh, this is from one that had so much debris that the arm had nowhere to move, and it broke it in half. So. That could even be an annual thing. It's not really needing to be a daily service item, but make sure you get this cleaned out and get that uh, pocket free of debris. Uh, as far as wear points on the machine, threshing points and concaves, uh, this is a tool that Deer has. It's a combine wear guide. It's $5. We have them in stock on the part shelf. And this is used to check your round bar concaves, your small wire concaves, uh, your threshing elements, and your separator tines. 
It comes with instruction booklets <clears throat> to tell you how to use it. This slot will be used to check your elements, threshing elements, and your round bar concaves. This slot is used to check your small wire concaves, and the height of the tool is used to measure tine length. So it's a pretty handy tool to have because if there's questions about if something is wore out or not, that tool tells you whether it is or not wore out. Uh, then we can move back to the feeder house. <clears throat> We can get to the reverser gear case right down here. Uh, maybe a little tough to see, but uh, that's an 800 hour interval. And that needs to be replaced with HD 460 synthetic gear lube. Uh, it's important to get that same synthetic gear lube back in because that creates a lot of heat uh, driving these bigger headers, chopping corn heads or heads with uh, wind bars on them. So that's a walk around and some maintenance points on a S700 combine.